Hello, welcome back to St. Fintan's Sutton. We are here today with our client, Michael Quinn. The Newhouse crew are at final completion stages. We're going to have a walk through today and look at the finishes. Um, the kitchen is due for installation this week. When you were last with us, the scaffolding was up, so today you have a great chance to look at external insulation, glazings, and uh, front porch. And you'll start to get a sense of the, the transformation from the before and after. So Michael, this is week 17 on the building schedule. Um, at this stage, you're probably just looking forward to getting back home and getting the family in. Yeah, ab absolutely. We've been, we've been out of the house since November. Um, it's incredible really to come back and to see how amazing it looks at the moment. Um, very, very excited at this stage. Really, really excited to see it, to see how it, it, it's shaped up. It just looks incredible, the rendering and everything. So yeah, very excited at this stage. Yeah. Let's come on in and have a look inside. Brilliant. Okay. So here, Michael, the crew were starting with the landscaping and groundworks, hardcores in, setting out a started, and some of the plinths and surrounds. We're going to finish with the raised bed yeah. and some front boundary treatments, garden wall, capping and vehicle access. Um, that's about two or three weeks away from completion. Mm -hmm. Some granite is already uh, fitted for the front footpath and your entrance leading to your porch. Mm -hmm. You can see here we have the 150 external insulation, insulation plinth, echo channel. Okay. And your new Drutex glazing here, um, your bathroom utility, your triple glazed entrance door, and your zinc yeah, canopy it's overhang. Amazing, you know? yeah. It's totally different. It's just totally different. The place looks incredible. Even the front, the front garden, the way it was all, it was also overgrown there now. Just everything been cut back, and then the entrance is just beautiful. Yeah. There's also a cedar soffit with some LED recessed lighting. Yeah, that's brilliant. And nice trims then just to... These are all the things that I totally forgot that we'd actually yeah. <laughs> had to put in. But it looks amazing. Yeah. No, it looks brilliant. Really, really looks brilliant. So as we come in through the entrance porch here, we have the bathroom on the left, which was the original location, but it's fully upgraded. Mm -hmm. The carpenters have formed the openings and lintels. Uh, some first fix electrics and plumbing is completed there. Some uh, decorative finishes is still outstanding and the main doors to be fitted. The stairs, the original stairs was retained. Yeah. Um, we have new crittle doors coming through this opening here. If you pan around to your right, you can see the doors have been delivered. Uh, some steel uh, black crittle doors. Yeah. And around to your left here, you can see coming in to the office space in the center, we have the new pocket door yeah. crittle system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The mechanism is formed, um, so that's just a temporary fixing. But you can see there that you have the, um, the top hung sliding system. On the left hand side, Michael, you can see the, the crittle doors and the track system is just ready for installation and your, your top mechanism. Okay. So the carpenters are working through that at the moment. So mainly doors, architraves, framing to be finished here. Floors are all installed and fitted. We just have some protection down and um, there's first coats of paint have been applied to the ceilings and, and walls, but we we'll wait for the joinery to be fully complete for second, third and fourth coats if it's needed. Okay. And some snags around your skirtings and, and moiter joints. Yeah, yeah. But generally get a sense of the space yeah, now. No, it's, like, it's, it's, it's totally opened up in comparison to what, because this was a bit of a dead, it was a dead space really in this room. Yeah. And now because it's been kind of broken up and then this going into, the, into what was the old kitchen, but now it's all totally opened up, like it's huge yeah. in comparison. Yeah. So here we have home office space, we have the slit window, yeah. frosted glass because it's facing the neighbours and your side access. Yeah, yeah. You can still get some light coming through. There is a gap, <coughs> there's a space between the, the properties and you do get some natural light coming in at this angle. But in general, uh, it's a snug room, home office, um, connecting the, the front room to the yeah, that's open the, plans. The idea, we're probably going to put some sort of a kind of a divider here that will come down yeah. but um but then yeah we're straight into what is a, a huge area for the for the kitchen and for the kind of back living room so to speak you know yeah so if you, if you follow us through here across the sweep around your right you can see the main open plan uh, space we have our steel beams that we looked at at the last uh, uh, visit here you can see the the painters are putting the first coats of white which was selected by michael and d and it'll give you a sense of the space here with the new skylights. So we have the old garage connection, which was converted, and we have the extended space here across to, to the right-hand side. Um, obviously, the main feature is the five-meter triple-glazed TrueTech slider, 
We still have protection on that at the moment. There's a steel beam supporting that over six meters in the lintel space. And we have two eight foot skylights um, adjacent to each other in the new warm deck flat roof. So this opens up the whole back of your home and to the new patio space. And you can see today with the new elevations finished uh, to the rear, the whole connection here is just well, beautiful. It's, you know? it's just, it's so, it's so bright. It's incredible really. And we've raised up the patio level pretty much flush with your mm -hmm. finished floor level inside. Previously, we had those steps down, we had yeah, the garden yeah, sheds yeah. here, and it was probably in the worst location with the sun orientation. Yeah. With that removed, then you get your, your back garden back also. And um, still a decent size lawn oh, space, God, you know. Yeah, yeah. And if you actually step into the back garden, you get a better sense of the back elevation in its entirety, because you can see here from the, yeah, you can see here from the back, you can get the full view of the master bedroom, balcony, and the left-hand side two-story extension. Yeah, so here we have your kitchen window, tilt and turn, yeah. your triple glazing sliding system, and your upper level yeah, master, bedroom. master bedroom. Up there. Um, the girls' bedrooms the on the right. The old side is the master bedroom, because that was the, the, the old side. Yeah. That's the old, yeah, up to the vent, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's amazing. And we still have to fit your, your balcony yeah. handrail, which will set off that uh, first floor. Oh, it's, it's uh, incredible. Just the whole back of it looks just amazing, yeah. So uh, we have about three or four more weeks to kitchen installation, joinery, skirting, wardrobes. Um, we should be getting you back home um, towards middle, end of May. Amazing. And you get the family back in and start yeah, enjoying yeah. your home again, okay? Brilliant. Thanks very much. Thank you very, very much for everything. Cheers, Chris. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget to follow us on newhouse.ie, plantech.ie, or visit us at our showroom by appointment at Thanks and see you soon. Thank you.